Goodbye bunnies, never again. I'll talk about that later. And this is Lily and the Bee and I've got lots to show you today. I'm coming to you from Suffolk in the UK where I live with my husband Neil and my meowy cat Holly and an array of handmade animals. Today we've gone for lilac behind with a little bit of pumpkin. I'm pumpkin-y already. It's nearly autumn isn't it and I love pumpkins. I haven't quite got the pumpkin folk out yet. I have to wait a couple of more weeks. September do you think? I think September they should come out and Little mouse here has got her lovely cardigan on that Lindsay made. I didn't knit that, but I have got a little bit of knitting to show. A little, a little, a little bit of uh, knitting to show you today as well. What else have we got? Um, things I've bought. Have I finished anything? Oh, I've got lots. It's mainly purchases. And <laughs> can you tell how much fun? Let's just say I had to get emotional support elephant out again. And emotional support chocolate to make in the briar bunny i've got lots to show you i've got a lot of cool crafting purchases which is not wilhelmina the mouse i made her ages ago she's cool crafting i bought this book which is a fourth book which i hadn't got because which is coming next i've got a lot of new patterns and i really like some of the clothes in this book i wasn't sure i've made him before and i bought the separate outfit for him a separate pattern for him and to be honest, I'd always not, I don't really like, naked, I really like him. <laughs> Do you think that's going to flag up or something weird on YouTube? <laughs> Are you allowed to say naked on YouTube? Nudie, nudie, he's actually really nice. I've never noticed him properly because he looks a bit like, I don't like his outfit at all. That's not my kind of thing that I would make or anything. So I've just dismissed him. I didn't really like the coat, I'm being so negative today. Um, or the kill. Oh, I could, we could make the kill. But I really liked the otter's outfit and I like that hoodie kind of Mac. I'm feeling like <laughs> some of my animals need raincoats when I take them out. If you haven't ever watched me before, <laughs> sometimes I'm sensible, sometimes I'm not. Um, but if you make your own animals, you understand. If you don't, you might not understand. But just Keep with it. I've got knitting later on. <laughs> um, yeah, so I bought that. That was on Amazon. It was about £11 or something. So not too bad. And there's loads of patterns in the back for all the outfits. And there is the patterns to make. Luna, Hamish. I can't remember all the actual cool crafting names. But basically all those animals. I bought that. And then about two days later, I got an email from Cool Crafting because it's their 10 year anniversary and they did a surprise kit which was 70 pounds which is expensive um, but you did get loads for it so it's fine for people who wanted to pay that but for me I have a lot of my own fabric and also if you know me and you've watched me long enough I don't tend to use the same fabrics that the designer will I'll make my own creations and my own outfits for them make it up as I go along following the pattern roughly or just literally just making up as I go along so I didn't want that but the new rabbits are called Dutch they're Dutch rabbits and they're absolutely gorgeous but I think I did put my name down on the waiting list for the 70 pound kit uh it was a pre-order thing so only a few people got them and they sold out quite quickly I did put my name down and I got an email saying that the du and I wanted to buy the Dutch rabbit patterns basically. Then I got the email, and when I went in and looked at it, they had some of the pattern booklets left about 40. The, the pattern book, so that was 20 pounds, which again is expensive. However, it's got the pattern for four rabbits and loads of lovely clothes. So when you think of it like that, it isn't. I've got the big 
I'm going to show you it. I've got the big, this is all the patterns on one massive sheet. And I'll show you some of the rabbits. And already, oh, I'll show you the rabbits first. So there's the new style rabbit, which are these Dutch ones. And I absolutely love them. And I keep, look, there's the front of the booklet. I don't know if they'll have any left. Because I said when I, they, it said they'd got 40 or something. So I did order it on the day. It was later on in the day. There's a little card that came with it as well. And there's all the places where they will be, which are all miles away from me. So I won't go to any of them, but. I do wish I loved to travel because then I could go to all these places, but I don't. I don't really like traveling, going to places. And then I, Neil would be fine and take me. But I kept saying when it was it was the um, in Birmingham the quilt show. I'd love to go there. And for months I've been saying, do I need to go to Birmingham for anything, Neil? Are you sure you don't want to go to Birmingham? I've said it about a hundred times. And then last week I said we don't need to go to Birmingham anymore. It's, it's finished. It's over. I didn't go. But I would have spent so much money, I think. So anyway, here's the um, outfits. I'm going to put that through. I hope you can see. I have to pop my head around the edge to make sure that you can see. So the patterns in here are for absolutely ever. Even this little basket cover thing, I think. I'm sure it is. And look at her little... And on this dress here, that's I've got a pattern for a top for myself which is similar to that so not that I'm like dressing myself as the animals but what else is in here look at the little faces I just kept looking at the faces thinking oh my goodness they're adorable I have just got to make one so I was so happy that I got this book because it's gorgeous it this this at the bit is the grace uh is Lisa uh not Lisa Peel she forgot the name Sarah Peel her daughter is called Grace and also has lots to do with the business as well. So she's written all this and it's about, it's about her nan. And I was, I was crying really, I mean, I'm quite emotional at the moment. I was like, my eyes, I couldn't read all of it because my eyes, it's about how she started sewing and everything. And it was really lovely. And I love even the artwork in it is gorgeous. As I said, the pages is nice, it's nice. Quite, I'm being extra nice about this because I'm not going to be really nice about this later. I don't think anyone from Cool Crafting uh, will be watching but I feel I feel bad like I do like to be positive about things um <laughs> what else have I got let me just flick through and show you some more things in here there's interviews there's the colouring I won't do the colouring tells you how to make the lunar lap in and I think this is probably the inspiration which I have to say I love absolutely everything on their inspiration page it's like a pin board I guess uh, not a pin board, what are they called? A mood board, which I've never done in my life, but all that stuff is so lovely. Strawberries and stripes. And... Yeah, that is literally the similar to the pattern I've got already to make. I'll have to make that now. Yeah, ruffle edge picnic. Oh, I don't know where you get the tiny picnic basket from. Maybe make it out of something. Um, there's recipes. It's lovely it's really really look there's look at that lovely dress it arrived in the middle of last week it's saturday morning today and i was so excited i had to finish work before i had a chance to look at it i was like got to look at it, got to look at it. so if they've got any left and you're interested i mean it might be worth having a look but all the patterns for the different style of bunnies are now on their website anyway you can buy just the pattern you can buy the pattern it's like a remake or a make kit um, buy all of it or if you just want the pattern you've got your own stuff you want to use your own felt you can do that as well um, I love cool crafting I already had this because if you've been watching me a long time and I'm now going to remind you if you've forgotten I was going to make the sheep but I never made the sheep but this is absolutely perfect I must have known in advance that I'd be able to look how good is that so I can make them now so I'm really excited about that and I do love them. <laughs> I do love the pens. <laughs> um, right, so that's that. And I don't know when I'm going to make them, but I think I'm really excited about them. So I think it will be a sooner rather than a later type of project for me to work on. I don't think I'll make all four. And I showed my mum a photograph of all the rabbits. Should you have been busy? So no, that's from the book that I haven't made all those in a week. I'm not that fast. Um, oh, I'm looking at notes from last week's. 
what have we got? Oh, show knitting. Would you like to see my knitting? I start. I've got an urge after Lindsay from So Sweet Samuel made my made some socks for me. Um, I've been mad about, and I've never. I know loads of people make socks. They're really popular, and I haven't got it. I didn't get it. A lot. Like, well, I, I don't get socks. But then I had those lovely socks that she and I wore them, and they're so lovely and comfy, and I love the look of them, and they've made me so happy. I think now I want, and now I'm obsessed with socks. I've watched so many videos. Thank you for all the recommendations of all the how you've learned to uh, make socks yourself, and you've. I always get things flowing over. <laughs> it's not dust, I promise. I think it's bits of um. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's not dust. I promise it's not dust. It's um, bits of flint because I do everything on here and I cleaned this table today. It's all nice and tidy now. Anyway, um, what was I talking about? Yes, in here, in the lilac over the top pretty basket. Look at that. I got that from TK Maxx. <laughs> I couldn't resist it. It's like the prettiest basket you could imagine. So, I think it was, I'm sure it was Angela who recommended I practice with larger needles and some larger wool sort, which I've done, because this is slightly thicker wool. Well, it's not that thick, but I really wanted to learn. I went into, basically, let me show you the wool I got first of all to make them with. I went into our local wool shop, which is, I think it's being sold, so it's not going to be there for a bit. It's really, and the lady in there is so helpful, always so helpful in there. So I like the idea of this because it knits into a fancy pattern. It is. Oh, I feel so fancy reading this out. Fancy pattern. Um, King Cole, 75% superwash wool, 25% polyamide. Polyamide? Polyamide? Is it, I presume it's 100 grams. I do know I'm not a knitting expert. If anyone's just, like I said last time, I'm learning. So this is my learning knitting journey. So if you just join me, think, oh, she doesn't know what she's talking about. You might, I don't know. I'm just learning as I go along. So 100 grams, I do know you can make one pair of socks with 100 grams. I've learned that. And I thought, I bought this and I thought I'd make a pair for Neil, my husband. He's got quite big feet though, he's size 11. But there is enough to make a pair of socks. And I love the pattern, I thought he might like that. But then I changed your mind and I thought, no, I'm not going to waste it. I'm not going to make myself a pair. But I'm doing, I'm practising first of all. So I'm saving that. Oh, and the lady in the shop gave me her own pattern which is two at a time, which I don't have to do, but it's a toe up. And I know a lot of the recommendations you gave me for YouTube people were, is it called the cuff? Not cuff down. But I started learning the two at the toe up. And I quite like the bit at the beginning where you wind it round. It's called the Turkish. It's called the Turkish? Yes, because this lady in the shop said, Judy Magic Cast On. So if you know about socks, you probably know what I'm talking about. If you don't, then just ignore this bit. But it's, yes, it's Judy's Magic Cast On or the Turkish card, Cast On, which I think they might be slightly different, but a bit similar, uh, where you get the two needles together and then you wind it round at the beginning. And I learned to do that. And I thought I really enjoy doing that. And I like the idea of doing the toe up because then I can make a little ankle sock if I want to. But, because I like the little ankle sock with a little frill round. I think I'd like to make one of those. When you see how much I've done, you'll be like, don't get carried away. <laughs> don't, don't think about the top yet. you just done the toe. But I'm practicing. But I've really enjoyed it. So yeah, I've, yeah, I'll show you. I had this yarn anyway, and I haven't used it for anything. And my mum kindly, because I got it into a massive knot, because I didn't know, this was ages ago. I didn't know when you get a twisted yarn, how to do it so I just was yeah yeah and it, it got knottier and knottier and I literally I must have spent about five hours trying to unknot it and then I gave it to my mum oh I love doing stuff like that do you so I gave it to her and she just did it straight away I don't know how some kind of miracle or un, miracle unknotting gene that I didn't get because I just knotted it more so this I've been practicing this so this isn't all that I've done yeah I can see the little bits of wool and things, a little bits of wool, and I think it's lint from the uh, fabric middle is floating around. I was, I was editing my other videos, so I saw stuff floating around. <laughs> it's really weird. It's not dust. Um, oh, this is really long already. <laughs> I've just been waffling on. So this is the beginning. Oh, and if anybody looks at it and says it's it looks and thinks, oh, it's a bit wrong. It, I don't know if it's right or wrong. I don't mean what it's supposed to look like. But this is how far I've got. So this is going to be, oh, I'm so proud. This is going to be the toe. And I've got these lots. So these are too big. These are size 3.25, which I bought, but they're the wrong size. But I need 
to a 0.25 but Angela recommended in the comments to try practice with bigger ones anyway so I'm going to try and make a bit of a sock with this and this and if it I'll just hang it up at Christmas if it's massive I could just hang it up and put a Mars bar in it for myself or an orange or something in the in it can't I hang it up make it Christmassy so that's my idea if it finishes but I want to practice I don't want to use all this and this was this wasn't very expensive I think it was about five pounds or something so that's kind of going to be practicey as well and then I'll get some really nice proper twisted hand dyed marvellous yarn to do when I'm when I'm good at it but so I'm practicing at the moment and yeah I did this in I did this in bed <laughs> so that's my knitting adventure which I've mentioned it before I really wanted to knit but I think I couldn't really think what to knit or I sort of might have just did a, a square or something or uh but yeah I'm I think I'm gonna like this so yeah it's all in my little lavender basket with my pumpkin that I crocheted last year I've got that out because it's nearly it's nearly autumn isn't it and I like the I do like strange colour choices like you wouldn't put a pale lilac and a dark orange together but I like it and I'm going to show you my back my EPP was in a smaller box but I've made it into a bigger box and I know lots of you have not lots of you I don't know how many of you a few of you in the comments have said you are starting EPP after watching my bag video so a couple of days ago I uploaded oh I can show it to you can't I I made this box bag and I uploaded a video showing you how to make it and thank you for everyone that watched and left a comment because I know it wasn't like a normal podcast so not everyone would watch but it still got I did get a lot of views actually I was terrified honestly because it, I'd named it a tutorial, I suddenly thought, oh my goodness, what about if millions of people? So that's, uh, not like I think I'm brilliant, but do you know what I mean? Sometimes people do, YouTube might throw it out to people, millions of people see it and they think it's rubbish. I was so worried about it, but just a normal amount of people watched it, which is what I wanted because I thought they're all familiar people um, who I know and who know me on my channel, I expect. So so that's fine. They won't be, you're all nice and you won't be judging me. I just thought, oh, if I get any, I don't know, because it was a tutorial. You feel like people people's expectations might be really high and then there's me wittering on oh I'm now doing this but anyway everyone who commented said something really nice about it and yes I was really pleased and I did enjoy doing it but it took ages you can see by if you've watched it there's all about four, four different outfits I think there was four different outfits but one bit I recorded and I didn't even use that because it was only a small bit so I think I did it on four different occasions because what I didn't think of it is it's quite time consuming to make because it's hand sewn. So it's not time consuming as in for you, you can do a little bit each night. Because I was recording it, it was like, oh, I'm now going to do this bit. And then I'd have to, like when I was stitching all the box, the squares together. And then, oh, I'm not moaning about it. I'm just talking about it, by the way. It just sounds like I'm moaning, doesn't it? I don't want to be a moany video person, a moany channel. Um, so yeah, basically it took a long time and then it wouldn't upload so twice it got stuck overnight and then it did upload and then yeah it was all fine in the end and um I think people enjoyed it so that's really good I didn't have to stress about that I don't know I just got myself a bit worked up about it um anyway so what I was going to say is this is my box of EPP it was in a smaller box I got these from the works quite a while ago I got three this is the largest size and they're just cardboard boxes got little suitcase suitcases um so I was just going to show you all my stuff that I put in there. This is all my EPP stuff. So this is my bag of, we do love an Ikea bag. This is my bag of Liberty scraps. I don't have loads of Liberty. Actually, this is it in this bag. And these are the new ones that I bought, the ones that I've got left from Billow Fabrics. So I keep those in there in bags to keep them nice and fresh. <laughs> and I've got tins. Tins are good. I think these are these Emma Ball. Yeah, these are Emma Ball, but I got them from the core crafting shop, I think. So in that one, I've got this is actually for embroidery, but I do embroidery around the edges. So I've just got scissors in there, a couple of embroidery threads, threads, another tin, which is I don't know what's in here, which is a little tin here. Needles. 
you should get I, I, there are special needles that you can get for english paper piecing and embroidery and things but honestly i just use the needles i've already got so i've got loads so i'm not an expert in what needle to use um i've got this tin as well which has got all my not all of them but a lot of the ones that i've already used and i just pop them in there and i've got a little square that my dad made she's got some stuff to the back in case i want to make any squares i think he's made me a few that i can just make my own templates yeah so i've just got ones that i've that one i've made myself because it's got daphne's diary on the back and yeah just some of the ones i've when I've stitched those one, ones on rather than gluing them. So I just keep them safe in there. I've got this tin, which my daughter bought me for Christmas and it has hand cream in it. I really wanted the tin afterwards. So that's got my glue pens in, my cottons. I just use the end of, when I've finished them on my machine, I just keep them. And then <clears throat> they're small enough just to keep them in there. I've got my, I've got one of those, I've got two of those. I've got a, petal shape one as well i've got my glue pen and i've got that sew line there's different makes of glue pens but i've got the sew line ones which came with little uh refills i think i did just get that off amazon I couldn't, I couldn't wait and i've got another tin which i don't know if it's got anything in it no it's a little empty tin again i got that from when i went to cool crafting shop two pounds bits of sea glass with holes in which I would recommend you don't need that. Don't need that in your own uh, EPP kit. Um, but sometimes I use them in the middle of my EPP. Uh, I find it on our local beach. I use it in the middle of my uh, English paper piecing flowers. I've got a flower here, which I've had in here for absolutely ages. I think the stitching wasn't very neat. So I've got that one just in there. I've got some of the wadding, which I just use for the centres. And... I've got a little flower, <laughs> one spare one, and I've got these little tiny, these are the hexiforms, which I haven't tried yet, but I've got the bigger ones out on my table, because I might have a little go with them later. So let's just put that back. So yeah, basically, that's all my English paper pieces. So you don't need a lot of, because um, you can use your own templates, you can cut them out from a cereal. Cereal box is probably a bit bit too hard you want something a bit softer but something between between cardboard and paper in the middle uh, so you can make your own if you want to or you can just they're fairly cheap to actually to actually buy them um i've been talking for ages it's quite a long one quite a long video already when i was in the world shop I saw, because my sister, if you know my sister, you don't know my sister, but I mention her sometimes. And she doesn't, she doesn't mind what I say, because I'd say it to her, that she's not into crafting or anything like that at all. I'm always trying to encourage her. She loves Coronation Street, which if you're not in the UK, is a soap opera, which has been going for centuries, I think. And some of you might watch it and enjoy it. I don't really watch it, although I do remember it from years ago. Um, but there was a coronation cross stitch in the wool in the wool shop that I'd gone to, and I really I said to her, tell my sister, I've got you this for Christmas. I found another another photo of it online. I didn't take a photo of it in the shop. I said, oh, I've got you this for Christmas <laughs> to get you into crafting. <laughs> and then I found when I when I searched for it, there was another one. Someone had made their own cross stitch, designed it themselves, and there was just four people. And there was Bet Lynch and someone else. It was really funny, so I sent her that as well. But she's still not into crafting. What else have I got? Oh, I bought some new fabric, which is here, which is Tilda, which I bought it. It was naughty. I bought it without knowing what I'm going to use with it, what I'm going to use it for. But it's Tilda. I've never had Tilda fabric before, but I found a shop. There is a fabric shop, which I found quite locally. And they had, it was £3 per fat quarter, which I thought isn't too bad. And it was nice to actually look at it. They go nicely together and they go nicely together, but I don't really think they go. Do they go all together? I'm not sure. And I didn't decide, I've just bought them and I didn't know what, I didn't know what to make with them. So, oh, we haven't talked about the briar bunnies yet, have we? Let's talk about the briar bunnies, should we? I know, I'm sorry for the people that said they wanted help making it. Not help, but a few people said they'd got the pattern and hadn't attempted it. Or I think one person put, 
which I'm now quite rightly, I'm now thinking they're terrified to start it. I'm sure someone put that. If that was you, <laughs> you were right, it was really hard. I have made it. I love core crafting. And as you know, I'm positive about things where I can be. I honestly didn't like how the design came together. I didn't like the pattern. Um, these, here they are. What's it supposed to look like? I haven't made the clothes, honestly. It's not very often this happened, but I made it and I just thought, I want this over. I just want it. I want them made and I forget about them. And I just, I rush, I admit I rushed the end. You do need to take your time to make it neat. I'm going to pop some photos up now of my progress and how it fits together, which might not be any help whatsoever. I can't really share the pattern with anybody. Um, but you, because it's got, I'm going to show you. It's not neat at all. It's probably the worst thing I've ever made. I'll show it to you properly. I'm not ashamed to say how rubbish it is. The, the, the arms are okay, they turned out nice. And the legs don't actually look too bad. Because it's got a seam down the middle and it's made all in one, you kind of stitch it sideways, if you can see from the photos. Um, you sort of stitch it and you put one leg inside the other, then you twist it round. It's really complicated how it's made. And I think when you're making something so small out of linen, this isn't core crafting linen, this is linen I had anyway. Most linen does fray. I would probably recommend maybe not making with linen. If you got linen when you bought the kit, then I guess that's fine. But maybe, I don't know whether the kit would have come with interfacing, so I just bought the pattern. So the kit might have come with interfacing, which you iron on, which would have helped with the fabric. You could zigzag around the outside. The ears were fine. Um, yeah, I, it was, it wasn't easy, honestly. I feel bad because I wanted to say to people, oh yeah, this is how you, you know, you make it. It was, it was difficult. So I'm not, I'm going to be honest about it because I'm not going to lie and say, and you can tell. So basically I was so grateful to finish it and I will explain the head bit. So for the head, if you are making it, you kind of, I can't remember which order you do, but you stitch up inside out, you stitch up this way. Then you stitch up this way and you've kind of got a gap for the head then you inside it then you twist it and you stitch across the top bit i hand stitched a lot of the top bit and i hand stitched the ears in first so if you are making i would hand sew kind of baste it almost like hand sew to make sure everything's in the right place i think it'd be really hard to machine sew all of that and get the ears in the right place it's very fiddly yeah i don't know why i made a spotty because I thought the spotty would look nice, but she's called Skittle. Thank you, Rowan. Skittle, she does look a bit like Skittle now. She's a Skittle fallen over about a million times. Um, so yeah, honestly, I didn't even want to keep her out for the video because I was just like, no. Oh, and I did, I did need emotional support afterwards. I needed a big bar of chocolate. Um, if you've got the pattern, have a go. I don't want to put people off necessarily, but I don't also want to say it was really easy and then people then struggle themselves and think oh Lily said it was easy but it's actually quite quite hard so yeah I would say definitely for an experienced sewer but take your time hand sew where you can and make the outfit to cover up the the body maybe <laughs> maybe as well but I'm not doing that I've got the, I've got the pattern there in the bag which I'm gonna keep it there and I'm gonna put it away at some point in the future I imagine I'll get her out in 2028 20, or something and i'll be still doing youtube because i love youtube and i'll say do you remember <laughs> i've got her out again and i'm going to be making her an outfit or i've made her an outfit so yeah i will at some point so i'm sorry skittle and i'm sorry cool crafting as i'm normally so positive i bought loads of their patterns and they actually got me into sewing animals and i've learned because I've made their clothes, I'm also helping me make my own clothes. Although I've only made one top, I've got lots of plans to make more clothes. Because you just learn how all the outfits, how all the fabric pieces go together. Because I think that's the hard bit I can sew. Um, but the construction is the bit that I find confusing because my brain is a sort of brain where I can't reverse park. I haven't got a brain that works. I don't know what the part of the someone watching will know, but there's a part of your brain which men are very good at reading maps, reverse car parking. I can't, that's, that side is me, it's too female, it's too, 
yeah, I can't. Is it two female? I don't know. Is it is a I think male and females brains are different, aren't they? I don't know. I've got to getting a whole new conversation going now, which isn't really relevant. Basically, I'm not very good at patterns, putting them all together and working out in my head how they all fit together. But that really help. And I'm going over the top about core crafting because I feel so bad. I'm being negative about that. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. Have I got anything else to show you? Let's have a look at the list. Right, in a week's time, it's my YouTube birthday. I've been on birth I've been on YouTube um, for a whole year. Started in August 2023, and I've loved every minute apart from the occasional thumb. I've told you before, don't give me a thumbs down. Sounds an angry. Don't give me a thumbs down. If you don't like it, don't watch. Don't give me a thumbs down. And I think I just like to think, oh, they're accidental thumbs downs, and I'm sure everybody gets them. But anyway. Um, apart from that, and I think I've had one negative comment, uh, and that was in a different language, and, I, and it had an exclamation mark on the end, and then I had to, I literally went into Google Translate, and then it was like, how can I see, I think it was my drilling sea glass, and someone had put something about, I can't see what you're doing, I can only see your dress, that's no use to me, or something, but it wasn't a tutorial, I was just showing you on, drilling some sea glass today, and I was showing, I was telling people that, anyway. um, so I, don't, I just deleted. So that's the only negative I've got. Apart from that, I've had all positivity and it's been really, really good for my mental health. And I'm going to talk, I'm not going to go into it loads in a video because I don't know, I don't want to go on and on about it, but I'll, I'll touch on it. Um, and I'm going to do a little bit of a giveaway as well. So I'm not sure, I think I might, I think I'm, what I'm planning to do, I think, is to do a bit of a one for the crochet knitting people. I'm a knitting person now, you know, I have a, a, a toe, a toe of a sock. Um, yeah, what, what I'm going to do a knitting, crocheting, like some nice yarn or something, and then maybe some fat quarters or a sewing one, or maybe a project bag. I think I'm going to do two anyway, and you can. Um, there'll be the option if you um, in the comments which one you'd like to win, and there'll, so there'll be two prizes, and I'll do it the same as I did with lavender bunny, as in. Um, you can just leave a comment and then I'll get someone, probably Neil this time, to pick a name, a couple of names out of a hat. So I, really, I love doing that. It's brilliant. It's so much fun. Honestly, I just get really excited about it. So, and I'll make myself a cake. I'll talk about, yeah, I'll just talk about, I might get out some old favourites I've made over the year. I'll talk about some of the lovely comments I've had and just over the year and how I felt about all that. And I hope that doesn't sound like it's all going to be me, me, me though. I might think, oh, you're just going to be talking about yourself the whole time. I don't know. But anyway, that's what it's going to be. And that'll be in a week's time. So that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you haven't subscribed already, already please, please. I can't do that bit, can I? If you haven't subscribed already, I'd love it if you could subscribe. And then also you'll get notified, if you press that bell thing, when my next video comes up and you won't miss out on the exciting birthday giveaway with the cake. The cake's just for me, though. Um, take care everybody, have a good week and I'll see you very soon. Bye!